Hey everyone, it's Sandy, and I was going through some things uh, the, over the past couple weeks and stuff, and I found my Midori. I bought this Midori Traveler's Notebook maybe a year ago, and I barely used it. You see right there, uh, I had uh, I was showing that I had Donna Downey sign it when I went to Canada one time and took classes with her. And I had started journaling a little in there, and I didn't finish up, and then I started using it for lists, and then I just stopped using it completely. So I tore those pages out, the ones where I wrote lists on, it was just grocery shopping lists and stuff like that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use this journal, um, or this Midori, for journaling. So this first book that I'm showing you, um, I guess it kind of goes with one little word, except I'm not doing Allie Edwards class or anything like that. So we can call it word of the year or whatever. And I've actually had two words on my mind. So the first word is change. And the second word that keeps popping up in my head is restore, like restoration or restore. So this one right here, I'm just decorating these pages right here with um, bits and pieces that are left from uh, the ephemera pack from the click kit, um, let's see, January kit, and some like ephemera pieces from it, and I think I got like a tag add-on and things like that, and I still have a few cards that I'm using in my journaling, or in my project life, but I thought I would go ahead and stick some stuff down there as well. So that's all I'm doing is I'm just kind of decorating that page. Um, I use those little birds. I use that hello today. I think it says hello. I know it says hello. I'm not sure if it says today. Anyways, I put that label on the right hand side and that is from, I think a Teresa Collins pack of labels that I got a year or two ago. I'm not quite sure. And so I just pulled out some alphas that I have little smaller ones, like these dear Lizzie ones and Amy Tan ones. And I put change and then really small. I put me. So, um, there's different ways. I kind of want to focus on the word change this year. And one of them is obviously with like, well, not obviously, but to me is I want to change, uh, my weight. I just have been steadily going up, 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 up. And I don't want to be, or I'm going to be 40 soon. And I don't want to be saying, oh, I'm 50, still struggling and things like that. So I just kind of want to get that under control. I mean, other things I want to change is, I don't know, lots of things. <laughs> I want to change the amount of scrappy things I have in my room and really go down to maybe just, you know, whatever kit comes for the month or things like that. This is just a close-up of that. And there's other stuff, Um, like for being a mom, uh, I have a really quick, or I'm really quick to temper. You know, just I get really upset after saying no, no, no. And some days I feel like I'm constantly, constantly yelling and it's just frustrating at times. So there's different things like that I want to change. I want to change you know, my temper, I want to change my weight, I want to change my attitude towards things, I want to be more decisive on stuff that I know I should, and and then the other one, the restore word, is something that's really personal, and I don't think I'll be talking about it on here, but I have another notebook that I will be uh, writing in on that one, and sometimes I feel like sharing, but then I don't know if I'm going to overshare and then I think, well, there's so many people going through so many issues, you know, and you only see 10 or 10 minutes or a snapshot on Instagram and everybody, you know, you think their life is good or they got it all together, but you never know what's really going on. And so that's where the word restore comes in with just some struggles I've had this past year um, and kind of deciding what to do and taking charge of things and stuff like that and just figuring it out. And it all goes with the word change as well. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to be vague, but at the same time, I don't want to overshare. So anyways, these are two pictures. What I was doing is I went through this little box I had of, um, let's see, just little pieces of stickers and things that I know that I still want to use. And I pulled out those rub-ons and they're Tim Holtz rub-ons. And as you can tell, they were pretty well dried up. Uh, but I did get a lot of them to stick. And so I like that. I don't care that, you know, some of the words stuck all the way, some of them didn't. And now I had put, let's see, those two Polaroid shots that I took. These were when I was at CHA uh, with the girls over there in California. It was day one of CHA and we were getting ready and I wanted to post on Instagram with my um, badge and I thought good grief 
I really need to lose some weight. So I didn't share those pictures on Instagram. I shared a different one. But I just thought those are two good starting points for me. I've got a full body shot and a kind of a up close. And to me, my face is chubby. <laughs> I just want to be, I don't know, a little bit smaller, a little bit more comfortable. And it's not even just to be small for the sake of being smaller. But I want to be comfortable. I want to enjoy going and buying clothes, you know, I want to enjoy going to the beach and not worried about pulling and tugging here and there, or, you know, heck, they make pants that the waist barely comes up, so you either have your waist super, super high or really, really low, and I just want to be more comfortable in my skin, so anyway, so I looked up the word change, and I wrote a definition on there, which I think it was, I don't have the book right in front of me, I'm sorry, and then I wrote other words like that mean change to transform, to switch, to, um, I can't read it. I'm so sorry. It's so small. Anyways, and then I'm going to go ahead and put this, uh, little film thing that I have, this transparency from one, an older collection that I had bought bits and pieces of. So that's what I'm stapling there. And then you saw me add some stickers from, I believe, a Webster's Pages, and they just say little things. I'm, I don't have the book. Oh, here, let me grab the book, and I'll tell you what they say, actually. So those stickers, those Webster's Pages stickers say, like, I can do this. Good things take time. Uh, you never waste time if you learn something. Learning is better when you're laughing, and things like that. So the word said to, or the definition was, change to make radically different. So anyways, that's a close-up of my page. And then I figured throughout the week, whenever I have thoughts on different things that I'm working on or that come up or if I get frustrated at the kids or whatever, I would just write my thoughts down and kind of keep it for a journaling. So that's my Midori. I thought I would share it with you. And maybe on Mondays I'll kind of, not every Monday, but on some Mondays I'll go ahead and take time to show you what I've done in my Midori. And so far it was kind of fun. It was a fun way to use a product, fun way to get thoughts out onto paper. So I will catch you on the next video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.